no matter what, what I do, like chicken is going to follow me for the rest of my life. Всім привіт! Мене звати Ніна, я з України і я вже три роки живу в Сінгапурі. Hello everyone, my name is Nina, I'm from Ukraine and I've been living in Singapore for the past three years. A couple of years ago, I went to Fair Price and I bought chicken and I decided to wait and I posted the video on a TikTok and it went viral. Since then, people always uh, ask me about chicken when they meet me. Originally, I was never planning to live in Singapore. I came here, it was so nice, I liked it, but then I left for two years with my husband and we stayed in Canada. But during these two years, my husband was talking about Singapore every single day. He was mentioning about food, about safety, about weather. By the time I graduated, I was so ready to come here. First time I stayed in Singapore was in Geylang, then we moved to Serangoon, and then we moved to East Coast. What I liked about staying in Geylang is um, a lot of food, a lot of durian, durian, durian season. Uh, I know a very, very great shop. In Serangoon I stayed for, for two years. Very convenient. Even though some people consider Serangoon outskirt, I don't think so. To me, it's like a heart of the city. <laughs> then I moved to uh, East Coast from Serangoon and it's mainly because of the East Coast Park. Yeah, I really like the vibe here. I like that a lot of people work out, a lot of people run, cycling. So it kind of just sets the vibe and uh, you just feel like in the movie every time you go out. It's so easy for me to be in shape in Singapore because I live in East Coast and because everybody is working out. I do come here like every week to cycle. So when I came to Singapore and everybody's cycling here, I wanted to get my own bicycle. I wanted specifically foldable and uh, Hito is like a perfect brand. And it lasted me like three years and it's still like as good as new. So if you guys want to get a bicycle, a foldable Hito. <laughs> if I like something, I'm going to eat it every single day. So I really like curry chicken. So I'm eating curry chicken almost every single day. Chicken is going to follow me for the rest of my life. In East Coast, I always go to, uh, to eat to a food court. I like economical rice so much. This is the best invention in the world. Can I have broccoli? Curry chicken. Do you have, can I have that one? Oh, sorry, can I have this one instead? I'm so excited to eat. <laughs> it's just so crazy to think that you can get this amount of food for only $3.60, like, so cheap. My favorite local food is, I love kaya toast with four boiled eggs. Two is too little, but four is just right. I like everything mala. I like dry mala. I love mala fish and I like mala soup. I do miss the Ukrainian food quite often and that's why I do like to make uh, farmer's cheese pancakes. This is how we make kaya cheese pancakes slash sirniki in Ukraine. And this is the final product. It's really difficult to find this kind of cheese here in Singapore, so I make my own. When I want to make Ukrainian food, besides shopping at fair price, I like to come to this little local store, Top Plus Supermarket. Surprisingly, it has a lot of things, a lot of fresh fruits, fresh vegetables. I really like to eat cabbage rolls, so I do like cabbage here quite often. I guess these are quite small. We usually use bigger ones, but... In Singapore, it's great because I've been working as a model mostly in Asian countries and most of the time it was really difficult for me to communicate with the um, people I work with because they could not speak English most of the times. But in Singapore, like everybody speaks English, so it makes my life so much easier. Do you know any Singlish words? I say can all the time. Can or cannot? Cannot. Can. As a Ukrainian person living in Singapore, I do think you guys don't appreciate the weather here. Because I come from a place where we have four seasons. It gets very hot, very cold, but here it's like perfect all year long.